All right, so here we go. These are my boxes of mud that I was using. I was using plus three and all purpose. All purpose for the taping. Plus three was for the finishing, the finishing coats. Uh, they sell this in a black and a green pail or a box. I got boxes. They seem to be cheaper, so no need to pay for them if you already got buckets. Cutting open my box here. I'm going to go ahead and peel the plastic wrap over the cardboard. Try to pull it down a little bit. So make it so it kind of is out of the way some. And I'm going to break a piece off into the bucket. I'm going to show you that in just a second here. Nice and easy now. Yep, just peel on that plastic wrap back. So you can't. You don't want to try to put the whole box inside of the bucket all at once because it can make kind of a mess. And the for some reason the corners just don't want to thick. You know you can't. It's going. It's a square going into a circle box in a bucket. It doesn't work. So here we go. I'm going to break that piece off, kind of slam it down a little bit. You'll see it dump in right here. Kind of like cutting a turd. Boop. Right there. Boom. And then I'm going to dump the rest of this box in there and start mixing. Got a little more mud on me there. Kind of hold that plastic a little bit so it doesn't get sucked into the bucket. Yep, looks good. Nice and clean. I don't think I lost any on the floor here, which is good. Fold my lids over, so try to contain any mess, any mud, any crumbs, anything. You know, trash, dust, dirt. Crumbs can be your enemy when you're finishing. You don't want any of that stuff in your finish work. So that paddle, that's a mixing paddle. It's meant specifically for mixing drywall compound. Mud, as a lot of people like to say. I like to call it mud too, so that's what I'm going to stick with for the duration of this video, which should be pretty short. Plug it in, turn my light off. I'm going to spin it for about 15 seconds here. So I'm doing that to kind of loosen it all up so when I do put water in, it, the water goes, it mixes better and mixes faster. It does a better job. So after I mix it for about 15 seconds, I'm going to put about 16 ounces of water in it. I'm going to go ahead and mix it about two minutes after that to get all that, that water mixed into the mud pretty good. So... I kind of skip around here. Here's me. I'm kind of getting my water ready to uh, to put in there. And, uh, yep, I'm going to mix it for about 10 seconds here, and then I'm going to skip past this. I'm going to jump, jump ahead a little bit so you don't have to watch me mix mud for five straight minutes. It doesn't seem... It's not good content, let's put it that way. Um, here we go, mixing. Yep. So I mixed it up. I did the... I did 16 ounces of water. I mixed it for about two minutes or so. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up my bucket. And I'm going to add some more water if necessary. I don't think in this case it wasn't necessary, but sometimes it is. You want your mud to be kind of loose. Uh, the idea is to have it like soft serve ice cream. That's what my dad always said. To uh, really make it so when you're working your mud that it moves easily on you. Because you're going to be putting it on the wall and pushing it around. And you don't want to work yourself to death just doing that. So... I think on this job I was moving a couple boxes a day, a box and a half, maybe two. So that's a lot of work on your shoulder, on your back, on your neck, on your arms, forearms. You want you want to make sure that you know you're working smart and you're working hard. So always my philosophy. Um, so I'm kind of cleaning up the outside of the bucket here with the knife, kind of just putting that right on the corner, right on the outside of the wall, and just kind of peeling it all back in. You shouldn't have any real solid chunks but there's gonna be some stuff from the box that didn't get mixed up yet so don't worry about that go ahead and mix all that in and after this i'm gonna spin it for about another three minutes um uh, obviously i saved you guys the trouble of watching you know me spin it for another three minutes after this and uh yeah it's looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with this consistency like i said soft serve ice cream you know it shouldn't be just running off of your knife but it also shouldn't be stuck to your knife if you turn it upside down. It should kind of pull a little bit. So I'm cleaning up my uh, paddle here, and I just wanted to kind of demonstrate this a little bit too. Just keep your tools clean. You can take that mud and save it as long as you don't have any dried up chunks on there. If you do, don't do this. And I'm going to go ahead and wash this off and pretty much call it that. Good luck, guys. Have fun. Enjoy, enjoy, your, uh, enjoy your mudding experience, your finishing experiences. Go out there and get busy.